tap your active brush to find the selection tool under tools in the brush menu. Selection has two modes, the lasso and the item picker. This video will focus on the lasso tool, which allows you to draw a freeform shape around items to select and manipulate them. When you're done, a single tap on the canvas will deselect everything. In case you want to go back, just tap undo and they'll be selected again. No matter which tool you have active, a quicker way to access selection tools is with a tap and hold gesture on the screen. If you want to add more items to your selection, just do another pass with the lasso tool and those will be added to the selection. Doing a second pass over your already selected items will remove them from your active selection. While active, you'll find some other options in the selection menu at the bottom of your screen. The first one lets you toggle between the selection tools and the color picker. The next one allows you to control whether or not to select strokes that are only partially covered by the lasso tool. If you toggle it off, the strokes that aren't fully covered are filtered out. If you want to include locked items, the next toggle allows you to do that. Finally, we have the layer toggle which allows you to control whether to select from all layers or focus on the currently active one. When you turn the layers filter to active and open the layers panel, you can see that only items from the layer that is active are selected. These filters can be applied to your selection after the fact as well. So if you do the same selection again, tap on filters and toggle it to all, you'll see that items from all of these layers are selected. There's also a shortcut to switch between lasso selection and the item picker by laying down another finger while selecting. This may be useful in the case that you want to use different methods to select a group of items.